Hey, what's up, guys? And what's up, Sussex Squad? How y'all doing today? Listen, I know I missed you guys over the weekend. It's going to be a heavy upload day. Y'all, what is going on with Kensington Palace? Actually, let me answer that for myself. Kate is missing. The UK people don't seem to care. America does. And not because I'm particularly fond of Kate. It's just the fact that an American, well, a woman just can't go missing out the blue. It's giving Shelly Miscades. It's giving the Church of Scientology. It's giving, is this why you're so close with Tom Cruise and Mission Impossible 4 premiere? They were figuring out what was going to happen to Kate. Y'all, there are so many things circulating, but I think the one thing we can agree on is the UK media has been using Harry and Meghan as a distraction again. I know, big time shocker. First, they said they were canceling all royal engagements, even though they are going on royal engagements. I think this is because they wanted to stop the questions about how come Kate isn't working. Why? So they can say, well, nobody was working. So why would you expect to see Kate? Mm. Okay. I mean, it's a dumb plan because once people figure out how useless you are, um, there's a chance that they'll never, there's a chance that like, you'll never actually get the public's trust back, but they don't care because they have their, what is it? 40, 50 billion. And they're just mooching off. Okay. But then, then when that wasn't enough, they came up with a new thing that guess what? They were in talks to strip Harry and Meghan of their titles. Now, let me just say this. If you see what happened with that racist family, I think it is in Denmark, where they stripped one of the princes of his titles, I 100% believe that they are going to strip Harry, Meghan, and the children of their titles. Because they're dumb, they're cruel, and that's all they have. That is all they have. Now, is it a dumb plan? Absolutely, because who cares? Like, the reason we like Harry and Meghan is because they are not them. They think that Harry and Meghan are famous because their association to the royal family. They're famous because, of course, who Harry's mother is, Harry's own work. Meghan, we knew her in suits and a bunch of other stuff. And third of all, fourth of all, they're just not you guys. Like, do you feel what I'm saying? They're just not you. And that's all that's in. That's, that's the only thing that's great. That's why people are inviting them. By the way, Nigeria um, hosted them and had a lovely ball. So now Ghana wants Harry and Meghan there. You remember the Commonwealth country? Go watch my videos. The King Charles's people were like, oh my God. Um, he doesn't even like Africa. He doesn't like the culture. Camilla is racist, never even wants black people to touch him. Her, uh, uh, Charles is too. The queen was racist too. The queen was racist too. I'm sick of this Mary Poppin image we have because she looked like a sweet old lady. Those weather originals candy she kept in her purse were laced with arsenic of hate. I'm being dead serious, but let me get back on point, right? To make a long story longer. So anyway, they, uh, they're they 100% going to strip because if you don't know what happened, it was like the Swedish, Denmark, somewhere in the Netherlands, right? The uh, the one that has the Queen Mary, the one that Kate was always copying before she found um, before she found a Megan. If you don't remember what happened, um, her son, excuse me, what well, excuse me, was the king like William, right? She had another son. He at first married an Asian woman. Okay. Then he divorced, he had two sons, divorced or two children, divorced her and married a French woman who, by the way, used to dog out Megan talking about me. I think a, uh, a thing with uh, Megan, she needs to realize she is new to the family and she must uh, has a say, assimilate. Anyway, that girl, right? That thought like by bowing down, she took away, not just took away the titles of all the grandchildren. Why is that? if you want my opinion, because they would have let the French ones have titles. It's the fact that he had half Asian. And at the end of the day, they don't want to mix their bloodline. In their mind, the royal family is supposed to represent 
the pure people coming from the same way as in the UK, as much as they have the Commonwealth with India, with Africa, with this, with that, they don't want any of them marrying into the Royal family. Cause that was sending an international message that the people that not only did they colonize, but that are actively, they sucked out all the resources so that they could become a world power and still sucked out resources. Those people would think that they were equal. Those people would think that they were on the same landing. It is all about hierarchy and you must be a lot of things to be in the British Royal family. But the first thing is you must be white. And I would say British, but the Windsors are German. Go look at Philip's past also and the Queen Mother's past. Anyway, my whole point of the matter is I 100% do believe that they are going to strip Lily and Archie of their titles and they are going to do it in the cruelest, most humiliating manner possible. I actually think it would be better if they do it now. Why the kids are so young, they don't care. Don't wait until they're like 20 something and they're getting a lifetime achievement award and they announce it just to mock and humiliate them. That's a scary thing. I 100% believe that they will harass Archie and Lily for the rest of their lives and literally send photographers out to see who Lily's first kiss is, who's Archie first love is. If they ever go to a party without their parents' permission, it they will literally be destroyed, destroyed. OK, that's why I'm glad Harry and Meghan got away now. So they are building up their own little kingdom and their own friends. So they'll be insulated from that. Right. Anyway, I do believe and I think Charles is going to do it before he passes away, probably on his deathbed, because the monarchy must have survived. And Charles has shown more than his children, more than anyone, except maybe Camilla. Right. The monarchy must always survive in Charles's mind. So he'll take the heat as he's passing away to strip them because in the monarchists and the rich people's the aristocrats, they'll be like, yay, Charles. And everybody else will be like, oh my God, you monster. But they don't care what the rest of the world thinks. Now, here's the dumb part. Even Charles is smart enough to realize if I take away Harry's royal title, that also puts the monarchy in danger. Because right now the British people and when I say the people, I mean the royalists, might be like, yes, take away his title. But that's because they don't like Harry and Meghan. And Charles and William are in charge. The monarchy is smart enough in the long term. And I know we haven't heard monarchy and smart in, two, in the same sentence in a while after that Kate debacle, to realize that over the generations, the Tories are ruling now, which William is firmly in bed with. But eventually the Labour Party might come. There might be another thing. There might be a new groundswell where all of a sudden the new leaders do not like the monarchy. They think the monarchy is BS and they think it needs to be abolished. Now, what would it do? Because people are like, oh, it's tradition, it's tradition. They might even see through the Church of England. No, you don't understand. You don't understand. Like they're anointed by God. But for you to strip an actual blood-related descending from the king, son or daughter of their royal titles. In the short term, it might keep people in line, but the royalists in the long term know you cannot let people know what you do is make-believe before they start believing you at your word that it is actually make-believe. So it would be a dumb move. But you know whose life has been defined as dumb moves? Well, it rhymes with Lilium and it starts with W. William's life is defined by dumb, impulsive, mean-spirited, targeted moves. And I 100% believe that William will strip his brother Harry. William will strip his brother Harry of all titles. But you guys, it's not a bad thing for Harry. Harry's not even really using the title. And I know it's hurt, but at the end of the day, it was never going to happen. They were never going to let you leave. The only way you could leave is if you fell on your face or became addiction problems like Princess Margaret or always lived in the shadow or was always looking. That. That's the only time that it becomes successful. Okay? You cannot leave and be successful at the same time when it comes to the royal family. So, Harry, it was a foregone conclusion. They don't like your success. But if William, and not even if, I think when William does strip away 
Harry's uh, titles, maybe. And guess what? Maybe not this generation, but definitely by Georgism generation, the monarchy will be abolished. Because when you let everybody know that what you believe and what you stand in is nothing but make-believe and pomp and circumstances, how much do the Brits look and say, you know what we can do with that one billion instead of giving it to these rich blanks that don't do anything? Instead of the tax breaks, instead of control, instead of this, instead of that, how about we just take it for ourselves? I will say this also. If there's no king, well, how long before the aristocrats? Because they enjoy all the privilege, right, of being royals, but we don't need to pay them billions of dollars a year. Anyway, right, um, Tom Quinn, again, think, believe what you want, but Tom Quinn has said that Charles and William have had lengthy discussions about stripping Meghan and Harry of the royal titles, but they're terrified this will backfire and make the situation worse. The last thing they want is to give the renegade royal something else to complain about. Complain about, baby, you know this is survival just like we do. William and his father know that even without their royal titles, Meghan and Harry would, and I hope could, and I hope will, would, uh, carry on traveling the world as if they were royals, and most of the people in the world will still welcome them. Exactly. You guys, remember when this first happened, and I did a video in January about the Kate thing, and I said the monarchy has fallen. Well, a lot of you guys said it too, but were we wrong? Sussex Squad, I asked you, were we wrong? Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.